Yum, yum. Greg here from Pixel Fondue. This video is about the daylight environment in Octane for Moto and all the buttons you need to press to get it right. So let's just start off um, clicking this little button down here, just to the right of the camera. This is the uh, lighting environment button. So I can, right now it's under texture environment, right? So that just means it's looking at this um, layer here in the shader tree and it's just using these two colors, right? Or these four colors or whatever you happen to have here. It's just using that to light the environment. So you can see it's just really um, sort of bland and desaturated right now. Now, if I want to change that to a daylight environment, you just go up here and switch that to daylight environment and boom, it's, we've got a bright sun, we've got a hard shadow and you know, it looks like we're on our way here. But there's a couple other things that we need to do to get this to really function correctly. Um, and first of all, you, you'll notice that, whoops, you'll notice that there's a number of different models here, right? So the Octane one is what it originally shipped with. That's, you know, there, there's barely any difference between them, to be honest. There's very slight differences, at least in my opinion. Um, but, you know, the Octane one's the oldest one, or at least the oldest one that, that's been on here. They've added these others over the years. This uh, Nishida one is, it's a little bit warmer. You know, the colors are a little bit warmer, more yellowy. Um, the Hosek one, they're a little bit cooler. Same with the uh, Pretham one. I think they're a little bit cooler at the top. Um, I tend to like the Hosek one down here, and the shadows are a little bit bluer. I tend to like that. But again, it's not a huge difference uh, with these. Now, what you need to do, um, what's really important to do, is you have a directional light in the scene. If you don't have one, um, just add one in there using the add item. Um, but you know, Moto will typically start with a directional light in the scene. This is typically ignored by Octane, but it's important if you're using daylight environment. So if the directional light selected, make sure you click physical sun. You'll notice that the lighting changed when I click that, right? So I click it off, looks like that, click it on, the lighting is completely different um, location. And so now it's reading these values, right? So the time of day, um, and it's looking at the, uh, uh, the location as well. And it also has something called a north offset, which allows you to rotate it around. So that's important. So the location, it just comes with some built-in um, locations like you know, London and New York and California. You'll notice there's barely any change because they're all like on the same latitude. So like, you know, noon and 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 Cupertino is not much different than like noon in Tokyo. <laughs> so they probably should have included some southern hemisphere ones, but you might be able to just type in like some your own latitude and longitude here. So if you need to get to a time zone or whatever, you could do that. Um, more importantly, you can change the time of day. This is a 24 hour clock. So morning would be like, you know, eight o'clock or something like that, or even like five o'clock really early, kind of dark. And then if you want to go to the evening, it would be more like 20, right? So that'd be like eight o'clock would be 12 plus eight, 20. So there's eight o'clock at night. Um, yeah, so there's the time. I'll just turn it back down to like, um, 14 or something and more importantly you also have date but you know the day so for like arch viz guys this may be important if you're just looking for a style here uh, one of the things you're going to want to mess with is the north offset and this allows you to just sort of rotate you're just sort of rotating uh, the compass so you can put these shadows where you want them so I could just keep on rotating around to like get that shadow where I want it. And it's, we're still kind of, the sun's pretty high in the sky here. So I go to something like, um, uh, you know, like five o'clock at night here. Then I change this, it's gonna be a lot more obvious, right? Where the shadow is going. So yeah, and Octane's so fast, you could just sort of drag it in real time if you want to. Um, what else? Uh, let's take a look at some other settings. Let's bring up our environment um, again. And really quickly, let's look at sky turbidity. So that's sort of um, the overcastness of it. I would, I would call it that, right? So right now it's pretty low, but if you could turn it up to something like 10, and before I do that, just take a look at the um, uh, shadows here. Pretty nice and crisp, right? So we've got a pretty high sun. In fact, when I just make this like high noon and turn my offset back to zero, Actually, it was cranked up a little bit, so we see that shadow come out a little bit there. So we see have this nice sharp shadow, right? If I crank up my turbidity to like 10, it really softens the shadow. I could even go a little more to like 20. So it's like really soft. That's like a really overcast sky. Now I can also change the lighting, uh, the colors of the lighting. Now changing them over here, honestly, I don't see a heck of a lot of, of an effect. Like if I can. If I, if I change this even to like, you know, fuchsia, I'm not getting anything there, which is seems a little weird to me. 
but you can actually click this little button here called Use Textured Environment. So I can click that. And let's say we want to put this on Mars, right? We want Martian lighting, which is sort of reddish, yellowish. I can go over here. Now it's it's using the colors in the environment for the sky colors. So we're still in daylight environment, but we're just using these texture colors for the sky colors, right? So I can go over here and say the zenith is more of a yellowish orange and like maybe the nadir is more of a more of a red. And now we've got Mars, right? So you can use, so you know, it gives you a little more control over it, which is kind of cool. So yeah, like I said, I'll put this scene on the Pixel Undo Discord and the Octane content channel and you can uh, download it from there. If you're not on the Discord, I'll put the invite link in the uh, description below. Yum, yum.